And now, this special edition of Looking Up. Today's topic, how to take your education, your career, and your income to the next level up. With your host, Don Hearsay. Education. The word is synonymous with success. Success, however, means different things to different people. That's why College of the Redwoods offers students a wide variety of educational opportunities to achieve their goals. The college campuses include the Eureka Main Campus, the Del Norte Education Center in Crescent City, the Mendocino Coast Education Center in Fort Bragg, and the Klamath Trinity Instructional Site in Hoopa. There are more than 20 career technical education programs, including registered and licensed vocational nursing, forestry, automotive and welding technologies, fine woodworking, police academy, dental assisting, business, and many more. There are also high quality academic transfer degree options tailored to your interests and long-term goals. General education courses include physical and life sciences, speech, art, English, and math, to name a few. There are right ways to do things and wrong ways. Joining us now, Angelina Jolly, who is enjoying a successful experience here at CR, and Brad Pitfall, who is not. So Angie, what's the first step? Well, first you have to apply. I applied way before school started and was so excited when I got my notification that I was accepted. Step one, apply. If you haven't applied already, the fastest way to do so is online. Here's how. Go to CR's website at redwoods.edu and click on how to apply slash enroll. It usually takes just a few days to process and then you're an official CR student. How'd the application process work for you, Brad? I didn't know you were supposed to apply. I thought you were just supposed to like show up the day college started and then, you know, just go to the classes you wanted to take. So, what happened? Oh man, not applying set me back like weeks. Probably a whole semester. Yeah. Bummer. So Angie, what's the next step? Well, the next really important step is to apply as early as possible for financial aid. I didn't think I could afford to go to CR, but I found out I was eligible for financial assistance. For more about that, let's go to Lynn Thiessen, Director of Enrollment and Financial Aid Services. Thanks, Don. First of all, apply early for financial aid. You need to fill out the FAFSA, which stands for Free Application for Federal Student Aid. You can find a link to the FAFSA application on our website. Financial aid is intended to support your academic program, not to be your main source of income. It is important to become financially literate, and you can find a lot of informative videos at Financial Aid TV on our website. To find them, just go to the Financial Aid Quick Link and scroll down. Welcome to our Financial Aid TV service. Use this free service to find short video answers to your questions about paying for college. You can apply for financial aid anytime. However, earlier in the year is better as it is first come, first serve. Remember, financial aid is an ongoing process. Make sure to check your CR student email to see if the financial aid office needs any more important forms or information from you. Thanks, Lynn. How'd that work for you, Angie? Really well. I applied early checked my CR student email regularly, submitted all the forms required, and I got my money in plenty of time to help pay for books and supplies. Brad, how about you? Oh man, it was a downer. I applied for financial aid just before school started, you know, and it seemed like it took forever for my money to come. When I looked in the dictionary under the word broke, there was a picture of me <laughs> up top. Funny. So what held things up aside from the fact that you waited until the last minute to apply? Oh, well, they told me to check my CR student email regularly, but I like forgot. Turns out they needed an important form from me. And when I finally turned it in, it still took time to process. So Angie, you've applied to the college and applied for financial aid. 
What's next? The next really important step is to take your math and English placements as soon as possible. To learn about that, let's go to Mary Grace McGovern from the CR Learning Resource Center. The purpose of the math and English placements is to assure you are placed in the correct classes. We want you to have a successful experience at CR. You can take them at several locations within the college's service area. Check with the college location you plan to attend. Why is it so important to determine a student's skill level? Well, the main reason is... I can answer that. Man, I wish I'd known about the importance of the math and English placements. I didn't take them before my first semester and I wound up in these classes that were like way over my head and... Dude, I failed a bunch of them. It really helped me to review and study for the math and English placements before taking them. I'd forgotten some of my high school math and the practices really helped me brush up. To find them, just go to the CR homepage to the Quick Links box and click Academic Support Center. I got into the right classes for my skill levels and saved time and money. Speaking of time and money, I've heard of Student Education Plans, or SEPs, that help students focus on their goals and get from start to finish faster. Let's go to Becky Blatnick of Student Support Services for more information. Thanks, Don. An SEP is a roadmap for where you want to go with your education. It tells you where you are and where you're headed. All the classes that are required for your degree or certificate will be listed on the SEP. Counselors provide students with an individualized student education plan that maps out exactly what classes a student needs to take in order to obtain the degree or certificate they are seeking. I participated in an orientation session where I was able to meet with an advisor to create my own student education plan. It worked out great. Some of my friends created their student education plan online, and it worked out well for them too. My friends told me, get an SEP, but I thought, big waste of time. Turns out I was wrong. No. Yeah. See, I thought I knew what to take, but when I finally saw an advisor, he told me I took two classes I didn't even need. All those books I bought, all that work I did. How sad. Who would a student contact to create an SEP? Let's talk to Jennifer Bailey, our Student Development Advising Coordinator. CR has counseling and advising services to assist you with class selection, transfer information, or any issue that is getting in the way of your success. The college offers career guidance or a first-year experience class to help you get off to a good start. CR also has a program called Disabled Students Programs and Services, or DSPS, which provides services, programs, and accommodations for students with disabilities. Any student who has previously received any special education services or anyone feeling they might have a disability interfering with their academic success is encouraged to meet with DSPS staff to discuss his or her eligibility. Our Extended Opportunity Programs and Services, or EOPS, provides additional counseling and advising support priority registration, and financial assistance. To find out if you're eligible, please visit our website. In addition to all this, on the Eureka Main Campus, CR offers residence halls or dorms, intercollegiate athletics programs for men and women, and a child development center which provides child care. Angie, as we wrap this up, any words of advice? Don't procrastinate. Get everything you need to get done as soon as possible. Good point. One reason is, if you've completed an orientation and done your math and English placements, you'll be eligible for priority registration. That means you'll be able to register for classes earlier and have a better chance of getting the classes you want at the times you want them. Brad, any words of wisdom? Yeah, textbooks are good. Could you elaborate? Well, the instructors were all like, buy the textbook that goes with the class, and I'm like, Books are expensive, man. Can I just show up and, like, take intensive notes? So that's what I did. How did that work out for you? Not so good. Turns out there's a lot in the textbooks they don't have time to cover in the class. It's like homework, dude. Totally. So, to sum up how to have a successful experience at CR, be prepared. And to help you with every aspect of preparation, 
check out the Student Services page at the CR website. Good luck and enjoy your educational experience at College of the Redwoods.